Everybody, it's Victor. It's time to run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Friday is going off to a great start. We did have another video across 3,000 likes and good news that uh, a lot of people have been waiting for apparently now, thanks to all of the lurkers of the Mosh Pit coming out saying that they want to see TM Trainer Month happen. It is going to stay happening. So now we're only 10 away from it happening. So, and just to clarify really quickly, because I did see some confusion in the latest comments on the, uh, on the latest videos here. It's not an entire month month like we're not going to be doing a 30 days straight of tm trainer runs it's only going to be one tm trainer run a week uh for the for an entire month which is looking like it's going to line up starting in possibly may now so yeah we'll see but if you get if it i mean if it happens in in march in uh not march but april we'll start it as soon as it, as it begins and we'll just run through uh four weeks straight of doing you know one run a week i just wanted to clarify that because some people thought that it was like 30 days of tm trainer runs no 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 not gonna do that so here's your meme of the day brought to you by tetherin title thread was this is, this has been me during the extended mosh pet meme of the day arc this is where i put my mosh pet if I had one, <laughs> and then they also went to go say uh, down below. Someone suggested on the Reddit thread about uh, about shelters, and Tetherin said that uh, after some remodeling or something like that, they would be looking into that. So that's very cool stuff. So thank you, Tetherin, and everyone who uploaded that one. Seed day is going to be. Oh my god, we got like a repeating seed here. Uh, Charlie Quebec, Charlie Quebec, uh, Alpha Alpha Mike Victor. We got Luna, and we also have Flush. Good damage to start with. Good tears rate too. Is our sound effects up? Yeah, they are. Why, why does everything sound... It sounds low. Hang on one second. There we go. I had, to, I had to turn it up in my in my ear. Everything sounded a little bit wonky. Um, I had the... Uh, we had we had the the maid come by, and she uh, she likes to clean, like, the in the office and stuff, and sometimes she moves the, the board stuff. So, yeah, I had to, had to readjust it. It was definitely low. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's it's happy days for, for everyone who... Uh, who were worried about the TM Trainer Month going away. Um, I did see a lot of people leave comments lately saying that they definitely want to see uh, TM Trainer Month happen. Uh, and again, addressing the confusion because some people, I know that I, I could have probably picked a better word for it, but like, I don't know how to convey. We're just going to do one, one run a week for an entire month. Um, I thought I explained that before, but I, I don't know, man. Like the days, all the days blend together here. Obviously, we're going to take Luna because this is going to give us a soul heart, but more importantly, give us a tears upgrade. And uh, thanks to Luna, we also get an extra secret room and super secret room on every single floor. Uh, if we manage to find them, they're going to give us a not permanent, but it's a temporary uh, tears up for the remainder of the floor as long as we're on there, um, and including the super secret rooms as well. Okay, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start with fame. I'm fine with that. One thing that's important, make sure you don't leave the room until after you've already gotten the sun buff. Otherwise, it just won't count. Um, it's very strange that it happens like that, but it does happen. Get a golden bomb here, which we can use to go fight the boss. And we might as well just get this key here just because it's totally free. So the only, only unfortunate part with starting with Luna is that we don't get the extra secret rooms at the start um, on floor one. It's just it's kind of like having... Um, it's kind of like having card reading. Like, you know, it, it doesn't kick in until the next floor type thing. So uh, just keep that in mind if you ever do find yourself with a Luna Star. But Luna Star is actually quite good here. Mom's lipstick, on the other hand, is not. Going to last week's question of the episode. Oh, yeah, by the way, the, the Luna will also show you where the, one of the secret rooms are. So you're always guaranteed to at least get one of the tiers upgrades and one half of a soul heart. Uh, but going on to last week's question of the episode, this was obviously from the Rocky Start episode where I thought it was a good idea to, to show Alex what uh, Rocky Balboa would look like as rock bottom. And he, he delivered as always. Um, uh, but the uh, most upvoted comment of the question of the episode came in from Christian LK 5 qv who said, question of the episode, do you get nervous when you get close to losing your streak? I personally would get way too nervous with a streak that high. Um, I've talked about it before. It's not about, I don't really get nervous. Um, you want to you wanna be, you don't want to play scared. Um, it's something that I've said for many, many years, and it, it holds true. Whenever we get to those like high pressure situations, I find myself actually, I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty well, I'm, I do pretty well under pressure. Um, as long as I have things that I don't, as long as I have things that will distract me from 
not like sort of realizing, you know, what's what are the consequences? Like, you know, we can't lose here. You know, it's all about just taking it one room at a time. Um, and it's it's stuff you've seen on struggle bus runs before. Um, you know, I talk about the strategy. I talk about I, I basically just talk about what my thought process is when we're we're facing like, wow, that was a very fast instant shock there. Okay. Um, but yeah, you know, just don't, just don't play scared. You can't play scared. You got to play confident, confident, but not reckless. That is the, that is the, the motto that I choose to, to try to tell people to, to kind of adopt whenever you find yourselves in these sort of challenging situations, you know, and, and just don't, just don't be, don't be, don't psych yourself out. Play to the best of your ability. It all goes back to going to find fundamentals, making sure that you're 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 doing good moves and that sort of stuff. So, uh, but personally, I don't get nervous. Um, I get confident uh, whenever we get down to that stuff like that. So obviously, it doesn't work for everybody. You know, I'm not going to paint with broad strokes here, um, but I do think there's a fine line in Isaac between playing reckless and playing confident, and that's where practicing your fundamentals, making sure that you've got you've got all these. I do want inner eye, but I don't want to pay one soul heart for it right, right before our devil deal. We'll come back for it. Um, you know, just, just play to your strengths, play to your, to good fundamentals, good dodging, good shots, you know, not taking, not taking bad items. You know, there, there are, there are certain times when you don't want to take any sort of risk whenever you're facing a low life situation, unless you're playing like the lost or something like that, then yeah, obviously you're going to have to take some risks there, but. Yeah, excellent question. Thank you, Christian. Uh, and uh, there was another question that I thought was very interesting. Um, uh, the Dice Fay nine two nine eight. This is a little, little bit of a bonus, a little bit of a bonus question of the episode answer here. Um, the Dice Fay nine two nine eight asked: We all know or are aware of the infamous Invicta silence, the collective quiet when something happens or a bad misplay catches you off guard for a room or even an entire floor. What is the internal monologue like for you when collecting yourself and moving forward from that point? What a devil deal. Um, so there's a couple of things that I do for kind of like an extended comedic effect. And then there's other things, other, other things where I will, I'll simply just kind of like, I do actually legitimately have to like, you know, stop for a second just because like if we end up spending like 50 cents on the judgment or if we end up not getting a, a payout after you know, after spending how, who knows how much on a claw machine, or if we take like exclusively bad damage from some Isaac BS, there are times where I legitimately just have to just step away from a moment. Like I don't get up from the computer, obviously, but, um, I'm like, I forgot about, I forgot about this tenant rock. I'm going to take a risk here. We might be able to get this, get this back. I don't like spending a soul heart on inner eye, but we got it back anyway. So it's okay. Um, but yeah, there are some times where I'm just like, okay, let's, let's let it, let's let it rest for a second here game, you know, to kind of collect myself. I feel like the secret room's there, but we have a bomb for it anyway. So, uh, but most of the time it, it's the, those pauses are done for comedic effect and you know, it is, it, it's just certain timing that I think works out for the better. And curse the XL. So this is horrible in a number of ways, as all XL floors are. Mainly because not only are we not going to get any sort of any sort of uh, double benefit from having Luna, we also of course lose our lose our Devil deal, lose or an Angel deal, depending on which one you're going for. Um, a shop, sacrifice room, yada 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 yada. I spoke at length about how bad XL floors are for you. A lot of people do catch on, you know, they, they, they realize just how detrimental XL floors can truly be to a run, especially if it's a bad run. Now this run in particular is not necessarily bad, but it's not great either right now. We got to, we need to step it up and getting an XL floor really does have the potential to shut down the growth of your run. So we got to hope that we get something good in here and yeah, I mean, it hurts. It's. It's kind of a whatever item. I mean, like it does obviously help you with your tears rate, but it doesn't necessarily help you right off the bat. Like you, you have to get, you have to get injured for it to give you any benefit. And also I'm just not realizing how absolutely atrocious our movement speed is. 0.88 is God awful. 
So here's the hoping we at least get some flying or something for it. And we've gone the wrong way. All right. All right. Yeah, TM Trainer Month is uh, is definitely going to be happening here. So I'm glad that a lot of people felt the need that they needed to come out of the lurking status or the ASMR pit to show their uh, show their support for TM Trainer Month. And that's good. Like I, I love I love seeing that kind of stuff. Um, people sharing how they they kind of you know consume the videos and and I I just I really I really appreciate the Mosh Pit's passion for letting everyone know like you know hey this is how like i enjoy these videos i'm a silent i'm a silent but loyal watcher and i you know i felt the need to comment because i am looking forward to tm trainer me and my wife were looking forward to this and and that that kind of stuff like just reaffirms like a lot of a lot of things that you know not that there's a lot of necessary doubt or anything that i have about my audience it's just that it's nice to to be reassured that people are are still interested in in doing like you know the like streak stuff because it, that, at the end of the day it, it's it's supposed to be helpful for the channel that was the whole reason why i invented the like streak was so I, we could have this sort of you know we, we always have these 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 sort of fun little additions to our already daily content here um and obviously it's, it's done to, to help drive engagement to the channel and all that kind of good stuff so thank you for those of you who who shared their their support and appreciation for tm trainer month i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be wild. That is for sure. We get the onk here. The near is hallowed grounds light, really blinding. I think it's. I don't know. It's like it's more blurred here recently. There you go. Same doing work here. Our other secret room should be here. No, it's not. Wow. That really surprised me. That's not there. Conjoining the uh, that other room next to the shop. I am going to take school bag. I don't care about restock. Might as well use flush here since we have nothing else to do. Now, you may have noticed against Dingle there, flush does destroy all poop-based uh, mobs and, and bosses, including um, instantly. So if you can use it against Brownie, you can use it against Dingle, you can use it against Dangle. And use it against all of them. It will insta yeet them out of the out of the fight, which is a very nice little insta kill, a bonus you can get from that. Now I don't want to say anything, but if there was ever a time for rock bottom, it'd be now. This is definitely a case for we would want to have the buff from Hallowed Ground permanent with the uh, inner eye. Inner eye gives us just a triple shot, which at the cost of a very very large amount of tears rate, fire rate. Can't get that. Uh, can't get that soul heart there. Unless we get flying or something, and we've gone the wrong way. All right. How does he do it? How does he do it? And yeah, and and other people showing you know their understanding and support for, for me resting my voice after some heavy vocals that we did over the weekend. It was a lot of vocals. <laughs> it was a lot of vocals that combined with uh, that combined with with you know doing my usual thing on top of streaming full time um yeah the old the old voice is is a little a little raw so i appreciate everybody letting me kind of kind of take a little bit of a breather i mean we're still obviously getting daily content here every single day that's like that, that's not going to change um but the length of the videos is something that is affected just a little bit I know some people don't care about the length of the videos. You know, I don't. I don't feel pressured to do like hour long, hour long videos. Uh, nor will I ever. If I think, that, if I just think like, yeah, yeah, that's good enough, then I'm just gonna leave it at that. But I do know that I try to. I try to be aware of of the many different ways that people watch these on a daily basis and try to cater to to most, not all, but most. Sure, we're gonna get hit by Bombino there. There we go. Yep, and that's XL for you. So, or XL floor for you. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording briefly because uh, I just had something delivered. So, it's not going to make a matter for you guys, but yeah, I'll be right back.
I realized I un I realized that I unmuted, I unpaused the recording, but didn't remute. I didn't unpause my uh, uh, my microphone. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, that's the nice thing about being able to pause the recordings. If I if I have to pause something, obviously, like if something gets delivered or gets like I just have to take care of something, then it's it's nice being able to. This is actually going to work out for us pretty nicely because uh, it hurts. Uh, yeah, we do one more. You saw their hallowed ground was able to uh, prevent us some damage, which is good. But what's nice about this is that obviously we get the tears up uh, from um, from it hurts. Although never mind, it, I forgot it's not floor wide. That would be nice if it was floor wide though. If we end up having something that uh, that could trigger some self-inflicted damage on Isaac, then uh, we could definitely use it. So, but yeah, I just had a had a delivery, had myself a delivery, had to get to real quick right here. One of those times, like, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge fan of like having to sign for stuff, you know. But whenever oh, that was another piece of damage prevented there by uh, how ground. Whenever it's like an important delivery, it, like you're always thankful that you at least have, you, you like you like had to sign for something. That's what that's what this one was kind of, <laughs> kind of important. You need a key. Yeah, yabe. This is a great opportunity for a bomb here because not only is there a key, but there's also a tinted Raku. And we do get our soul heart, which is good. I'm gonna take the soul heart. I'm not gonna open the golden chest for obvious reasons. Um uh, gonna go into here and yep. Here we go. Th this is it, inevitably whenever whenever Gemini shows up. Inevitably, someone's like, there's no downside to Gemini. Uh, that's not true. There is a downside to Gemini. And much like a lot of the familiars that you cannot control their outgoing damage, it goes all back to that golden rule. Being able to out, being able to control your outgoing damage is imperative in this game. You must simply learn how to do that. If you're unable to control your outgoing damage, you are leaving yourself open to getting hit at inopportune moments. You're going to rob yourself of getting stuff like Death's List out of the way, or it, just or just being accurate in general is extremely important. Um, so, making sure that you're in control of all aspects of Isaac, you will find yourself having much better runs and much cleaner runs as well. So yes, while it's very easy to look at Gemini and say like, there are no downsides, there are. If you think about them, there are. Um, now, of course, it's not major downsides. Like if you just have no damage, then sure, go 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 ham. Go ham and cheese on, on a taco biscuit Gemini, but that's not me. Um, wow, we can't get, we, we cannot get to the store. And I don't think the singular bomb is going to do anything for us either. We also haven't had a bomb to go into the secret rooms. I know that there's a secret room here. Well, uh, here? Hang on. This is where, one of the super, super secret rooms is right there. Yeah, there's one there. Regular secret room. I'm going to go for the surefire one, though, because it's possible there might be bombs in here, and that could also get us into the curse room. We still have a decent amount of time to get into boss rush, which is something I would like to do. Okay, there's a bomb. So we could go into the cursed room. That other secret might be there too, actually. There's too many there's too many variables to where okay, actually no it can't. Yeah, so this secret room has to be to the left of here, the second one. I'm gonna go for the surefire super secret room though. Because there also might be a bomb beggar in here. There's not. How do I know this is the surefire uh, super secret room? It's because if you see this if you see that room layout with the flat wall on the north and then all the keys on the right, that is guaranteed to be Super secret. It's like a ninety-five percent wall up there. Okay, we get. We did get a key, so let's let's go into the shop and just see if there's anything worthwhile. There's not. Uh, we could buy another bomb. Go to the other secret room, which I postulated was right here. I'd be correct again. We got a nickel. Look at that. Look at us. Okay, so we got to get a we got to get a move on though. 
I don't want to miss boss rush because remember we got screwed out of having an extra item thanks to the XL floor. So we've got to get maximum value here. Good tears rate right now, thanks to largely in part to Luna. got HP here I would like to go finish off that demon judgment but this is this is most likely going to cost us boss rush here unless we get super lucky we've already gone pretty pretty hard on this demon judgment here so we've got to get some value otherwise it's not gonna be worth it also I think we'll just walk into the curse room here Quick. Did get a guppy item, so it's good. Hey, Guppy's hairball. I mean, it's not the greatest of, of guppy items, but it can at least help us out a little bit. Or Babylon. Okay. So we get Horde Babylon, which is going to give us more movement and a little bit more damage, so it's good. Is it worth losing boss rush over? Probably not, but we haven't lost boss rush yet. We just need to, we, we got to get a move on here. It is also very, very strange seeing Isaac with a white face, but in the horror Babylon state. You don't see that very often. Kind of disturbing. He looks, he looks like, kind of like a clown, actually. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta pick, pick wisely here. These are our base stats right now. We know the secret room's there, but we can't do anything about it because we have no bombs, and we've gone the wrong way. All right. We've immediately gone the wrong way. Now, it is not looking super great. I'm just going to flush him. We'll say that Flush has actually been doing gangbusters for us here. The Thame also has been helping us out. I don't want to go into the big room without having Flush just so we can clear it uh, much faster. Let's go in here real quick. This might be the right way. But remember, it's finding the right way is only half the battle right now. We also have to find the actual Tinted Rock, uh, Tinted Skull. We have another big room over here. And it's the wrong way. All right. We know for a fact that the Tinted Skull can't be in there, so... We're going to have to go through this big room here. Uh, we're going to have to... We, we need a miracle for us to find not only the Tinted Skull, but also beat Mom. And still have time to go into the Devil Deal, possibly. And also, also, the Boss Rush without dying without the not dying but without the timer dying so we found on the mom fight but no tinted skull gotta be in here right oh. d1 hizzle okay uh I mean, I'm definitely down for the D1 Hizzle, especially with us missing Boss Rush and getting that dang XL floor. Um, Wow, our movement speed got shot straight to hell. I'm going to take this Soul Heart. Still maintain Guppy's, Guppy's Hairball somehow. Answer's not bad, but it's not what we want. Got Soy Milk. Uh, the D100 is gone now. Apparently. Question mark. Uh, okay. Not sure what happened there unless if we rolled into... Did we somehow roll into our battery? 
it consumed itself? I don't know. I have no idea what happened to the D1 Hizzle. We did get Carvery. I mean, it, like, luckily, like, this this run isn't, isn't, like, just, like, dog water. It's still pretty bad, but it's not the worst it could have been. I mean, we, have, we have soy milk. We got Doctor's Remote, which is helpful. We got Goat Head, so we know we can't miss a uh, deal with the devil. Very odd run. There's also a tenant rock up there I need to go get. I wouldn't mind getting mom's key either. Any keys? Could have just used Doctor's Remote there, but who's got that kind of time? I don't want to open up these two golden chests until we have until we have the uh the key the, the money to get mom's key. So we have Seraphim Soy Milk, Experimental Treatment, which I don't know what that did, but we have we have Flying, thankfully, thanks to Spear of the Night. Also have uh, Spectral Tears, and yeah, there it is. There's the Tennis Skull, the last, last possible spot that it could have been. Full card, Empress, and Queen of Hearts. So we're going to have to, unfortunately, get one more cent. Hopefully, anyway, out of this, uh... Alright. we go. So we have Queen of Hearts ready to go for our next, uh... Our next sacrifice room, if we ever find any. And a rock right next to where Isaac is, right there. It's a small rock, which I'll happily take. Movement speed was a little bit too high. 1.85 is not terrible, but it's not ideal for me. And getting a little bit of extra damage for soy milk is also very, very good. Still trying to figure out what the hell happened to the D100. Gonna take the Polaroid. Ooh. Man, Sanguine Bond with soy milk could hog off here. Okay, Empty Vessel gives us three soul hearts. God, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to wait for this every single time. Okay, no, it's no thanks. First the blind. Well, thankfully, thanks to uh, card reading, we at least don't have to worry about doing this. Although, I don't know what happened to our movement speed now. Our movement speed has been has been reduced back down. So, I'm guessing at one point we have bloody, we have bloody gust or something. I don't know, dude. Krampus almost yeeted himself right on top of Sanguine Bond. And we get Lumpy Coal! A lot of coal with Sanguine Bond is actually quite good. Um, we don't have Polar Invincibility right now, so we don't have to worry about waiting for this. Hey, we got Leviathan. Wow. I just wanted a damage up game. Thank you. We can get to over two two base. Yeah, that's 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 Pog right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of stuff out of this. Huge payout from uh, Sanguine Bond. Look at this. Damage, it just proc like three times in a row. Turning red hearts into damage, baby. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that.
Obviously, the damage up that you get eventually does end up kind of kind of petering out. But right now, look at that. It's just it's just procking like crazy. Sanguine Bond. If you if this doesn't convince you that Sanguine Bond is not S tier, brother, sister, I don't know what to tell you. This is uh, yeah. We just we just almost doubled our damage there. Even for a Curse of the Blind, that was not terrible. And we can even go into... Uh... We don't really need super damage. Go check out this Vault here. Yep. Standard standard Vault procedures right there. The Lump of Coal is so, so strong with Soy Milk. Especially with us having a base damage of 3.12, which is very, very hard to do. Just pure Soy Milk. Just because of that damage, that damage down multiplier. What in the world? I have no idea what just hit us at the beginning of this room. Is there a grub that was charging through our shots that I didn't see or something? Nine lives, okay. Down to polar invincibility here. Ivy bag is not needed at this point. Two soul hearts, man. This run took a just a a total 180. I mean, we weren't like really suffering from success that much on this on this run. Like that first run was definitely like winnable. It's just gonna be a slog. This is this is just turned up the octane to like 11 here. Thanks to the D1 Hizzle. I still don't know what happened with where it went. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to look look back at the uh, at the recording and figure out exactly where the D100 went. I have no idea. It's like it almost got consumed. It was void or something. I don't know. My only educated guess is that we, we somehow... We somehow... E100 into a car battery, which then E100 itself and gave us and gave us Doctor's remote. Not sure. This run got turned upside down. And I'm all for it. Oh, wow, it is over here. I was going to say, there's no way that the uh, the boss is not connected to the big room. Yeah, it's been... Overall, it's been a good run, though. We had good, good talks, good tech, good eats, good delivery, good everything. I think given another day or two, my voice should be hopefully back to normal. I can definitely feel it right now, though. It's, I'm, I'm suppressing the cough as much as I can here. Uh, I was hoping that we were going to get another red portal. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to open both of them there game, but heard that over over last weekend Godzilla, our boy. Our Oscar award-winning, Academy Award-winning boy. Uh, the new, uh, the new Empire made over a hundred and ninety-four million dollars on opening day or opening weekend, which for for a monster feature, especially, is just unbelievable. Like, it really is the most golden of era that I can that I can ever that I can remember. 
Honestly, my entire life, I've never seen hype for Godzilla like it's been in this this year. Ever since minus one. Minus one really was the catalyst. And I was thinking about that that conversation we were talking about iconic films the other day, um, yesterday, um, where you know there there are certain shots and certain scenes that just kind of like set the tone for like a whole new genre of of filmmaking, um, or at least like you know like visual effects and stuff. And I forgot to mention, I can't believe I didn't I didn't remember to mention this, but the shot of Godzilla following the boat when the main characters are trying to get away from him and Godzilla is just hounding them uh, in the water that is arguably the most iconic shot from that from that film and I think that that's one of those shots that as well that kind of is going to galvanize itself in movie making from here on out for especially for like creature features um oh wow we, we actually summoned a red blorb with a mystery egg pretty nice it's not nice the amount of move of damage we're taking here because our movement speed is pure doo-doo i think that i think that that shot from minus one where godzilla is chasing the boat is is arguably the most iconic either that one or it's when godzilla is roaring after after hitting his atomic blast um it's it's man it's so hard to believe that that entire most of that movie was shot in a parking lot. <laughs> like, that's, like, unreal. Oh, my God. And what's what's so funny, and they... This isn't spoiler because it's something that Toho actually put out um, last month on their official YouTube channel. What's funny is that the one of the visual effects uh, directors said, if you look closely, which is true because I've gone back and watched the film like four billion times at this point, if you look closely at the guard railing in the movie, uh, for each ship, it's all the same. They use the because their budget wasn't very high, so they used they had to use the same props for like the like the guardrail on every single ship. That's the reason why, like, even though it shows them on like a naval destroyer or a fishing boat or something like that, it's all it's all this. They have the same little chain, like ball and chain that goes around the uh, the guardrail, which I think is it is that's a neat, neat little Easter egg. It just shows you how much they made, uh, how much they had to work with, and how much they did with what they had to work with in that film. It, it is incredible that they made that movie in a parking lot. All those open, all those open ocean scenes were done in a parking lot, <laughs> a green screen parking lot. That's just madness. It's no wonder that that movie won an Oscar, man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There's the north and south side of the map, everybody. That is, it is truly the most of golden eras for Godzilla fans. And if you're not a Godzilla fan and you're you're wondering what the hype has been all about, hey, hop on board. Plenty of room. There's a standard standard issue to make to full clear here. Okay. He just happened to jump right at the perfect moment before that hit. I feel like the sound effects are still so low, man. Like it sounds like the tears sir, you have no you have no HP. It sounds like the tears are low, but like other things aren't. I don't know. Hopefully it's not too disruptive for people. Maybe I'm just going deaf. That could be it. Okay, good. It could have saved us all a whole lot of time here, game, with giving us a red portal, but, you know. I guess we got to get one of those memes in. Spider Bite Soy Milk is such a good combo. Map looks like a camel. It definitely looks like a camel. A camel with a with a throne on top of its hump. Okay, well now I don't know what it looks like. Now it looks like a it looks like an alpaca. 
taking a very long marching step. It looks like Rob taking a very long stride right here. You can't tell me that it doesn't look like an alpaca in like a marching band or something. Like here's it's here's one of the legs on the ground. Here's the extended leg marching out. Here's the head. Here's the, the alpaca back. Yeah. Okay. Well, now it's now I don't now it's just hideous. Wrath just trying to bomb greed there. The gigante beam. And we are still looking for that boss room. It's gotta. You'd think that the the longest way over here would have been the correct way, but no. Not in Isaac. No, 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 no. So right here is the reason why I don't like Mystery Egg. Because some people bring up, why, how do you like Friend Finder, but you don't like Mystery Egg? Uh, the reason why is because Mystery Egg stuff. They love to fire at Isaac. And also, they fire on their own. Again, the outgoing damage thing. So, it was a grueling chest here, but we finally got to Blue Baby. And, uh, yeah. This is just an all overall solid run, thanks to the D1 Hizzle. Making it happen. We got lucky. Um, I'm going to need to look at the footage and figure out why in the world the D100 disappeared, though. I have to, have to bring that one to the refs and take a look. Throw the challenge flag on that, so... Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click the like button. Leave those comments of the questions of the day down below in the comments section. And thank you to everyone who supports the channel. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Alec Holloman, Wyatt Sipes, and Flashback007. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com. Slash Invicta. 